Okay, morning folks. Uh, welcome to the briefing on Friday the 9th of April. And uh, what we'll do is we'll show you what we think we're going to have today and then uh, have a quick look at tomorrow and later in the weekend. So this is the uh, midday one o'clock chart for the UK. Uh, you can see they're showing this, this cold front and it is actually a very weak cold front straddled across um, which looks like just north of the M4 Oxford area. And it's been progressing down um, overnight. It does appear looking at the rest of the data that it's actually slowing down and, and probably drying out a lot more than uh, was sort of thought six, 12 hours ago. Uh, so I think it's very, very slow moving at the moment. And then with that, you're obviously getting the sort of compression of the wind. We're in the southern sector, so we're halfway between these, these two boxes here. You've got variable or southwesterly upper winds here, and north of us, you've got northwesterly. So I think we're going to be sort of flying heights, light westerly, uh, 10 knots probably, and on the ground, um, certainly a lot lighter than that. I think you're looking at light southwesterly five to seven knots. Um, and that seems to be across all the forecasts I've actually looked at. The rest of the Farnborough Taff is showing scattered three and a half, 30% probability tempo between, uh, that'd be 11 and four o'clock this afternoon, local time, 8,000 meters showers and rain. I think the timing on that is a little bit later. Um, it's definitely slowing down. Um, as it's coming towards us. And you can see that on the satellite pic. There's the, the band of cloud with some showers on it. And it doesn't seem to be tracking down that quickly towards us. It seems to be slowing and almost stalling. And we're obviously in the clearer area here. The rainfall radar shows the same. You can see it actually tracking across here. It doesn't seem to be heading our way. I think we will see occasional showers um, this afternoon, but nothing like forecast um, last night. Temperature wise, um, 11, 12 degrees, probably um, by sort of lunchtime, early afternoon. Not particular wind chill so going to feel quite warm and pleasant out there and it should sort of trigger uh, enough heating to get some thermals going um, by sort of 11 12 o'clock and top meteo was suggesting um, it gets soarable by um, somewhere between 11 and 12 o'clock 3,000 foot cloud base and maybe a little bit better in the early part of the afternoon, 11, 1200 meters um, around us. They're, they've been showing the showers coming across here, but not really amounting to very much until much, much later in the afternoon, perhaps early evening when the front finally gets here at around about four or five o'clock. So certainly flyable today, soarable. I think local soaring, short cross country out to the west for the brave, uh, but not a, a great day. Looking into tomorrow, both the Met Office and the BBC are showing these um, fronts that have gone through us, now tracking back across the southeast of the UK. Uh, the BBC was suggesting that this is going to be sat over us tomorrow lunchtime. It's going to be wet here. So the timing and the positioning is still up for debate at the moment. But we could either be raining all day or we could just be on the edge of the clearance. Um, anybody's guess. Sunday, looking quite nice, small uh, ridge of high pressure building. And so hopefully Sunday will be uh, quite a nice day, but northerly 
not particularly strong, um, probably 10 to 15 knots uh, at most by the looks of it, um, but a good soaring, hopefully a good cross country day as well. Okay, so airspace wise, uh, not really a lot going on. Um, I've just left the Southampton um, zone timings on there just to show you that uh, they're now not closed at the weekends. So Thursday, Friday, they're open. That's 11.30 to uh, 20.30 local time. And Saturday, it's nine o'clock till one o'clock. And Sunday, it's one o'clock till eight o'clock in the evening. So very variable hours. Um, might be the opportunity to go in there. Um, certainly on Sunday early on before the airspace opens. Uh, locally to us, as you can see, nothing really going on here. And the only thing a little bit further away, they've got parachuting at Little Riz with the usual cone starting at, at 8,000 feet this time. Normally it's 12. Um, and that's about it, to be honest. Operationally, we're on 2.7. We'll be on the grass north side. I'll put the uh, the fire truck out to uh, show where we're actually going to launch from. And in theory, there's a 727 going out at 11 o'clock. But that's just the flight plan so far. I've not had confirmation of that. Uh, so we'll just keep an eye out for that one. OK, folks, uh, a few people booked in. So we'll start getting the kit out um, fairly shortly. And if you don't fly today, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.